Take the night off cooking and dine better. Celebrate better at the Coach House in Daniloquin tonight. Part of the Ace Radio Network. 88.5, 103.9, 102.5, Edge FM. 14 degrees in Melbourne, partly cloudy tomorrow, a top of 18. It's 6 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Tony Tardio. The Labor member for South Barwon, Darren Cheeseman, has been forced to resign from his role as Parliamentary Secretary for Education. The Premier's office has released a statement late this evening saying he's been asked to resign from the position because of persistent inappropriate behaviour in the workplace towards staff. Mr Cheeseman will remain in the Parliament and will remain a member of the Parliamentary Labor Party. Victoria Police warning there's no magic solution to fixing the domestic violence crisis as anger mounts over the spate of violence against women. Stephanie Wacklowick. Four Victorian women have died allegedly at the hands of men this year already and Family Violence Command Assistant Commissioner Lauren Calloway says tougher laws have been discussed. We're at the point where it's not one magic solution to fix this problem. Family violence makes up one quarter of all crime in Victoria and Assistant Commissioner Calloway says officers need more powers to crack down on family violence and hold male perpetrators to account. But there also needs to be a greater focus on rehabilitating them. Rallies will be held across the country in protest of violence against women this weekend. One in Ballarat tonight, another in Melbourne tomorrow. Victoria's Attorney General, Minister for Women and the Minister for the Prevention of Family Violence have been tasked with bringing solutions to Cabinet. Premier Jacinta Allen saying their work will determine whether more reforms are needed to prevent and respond to family violence. It keeps happening. It's clear we need to do more. At State Parliament, Stephanie Wackler, Week 9 News. It's been revealed. Cobram woman Emma Bates sought help from the police shortly after she was found, before she was found dead in her home. Her neighbour, 39-year-old John Tawney, faced Shepparton Court on numerous charges today. He raised his middle finger at reporters after today's hearing concluded. A collective of Muslim organisations says recent terrorism charges laid against teenage youths in Sydney are troubling. A 16-year-old youth has been charged with stabbing an Assyrian bishop while investigating Investigating the attack, detectives uncovered an encrypted app allegedly used to share terrorism material and charge five more youths. Spokeswoman Ramia Abdo Sultan says the term religiously motivated terrorism is dangerous. The presumption that terrorism is inherently tied to religion is not only inaccurate but also harmful. This misconception persists despite extensive scholarly work demonstrating that terrorism is driven by political and ideological motives, not religious faith. The security guard killed in the Bondi massacre in Sydney has been honoured at his funeral service today. Matt White reports from Sydney. Faraz Tahir ran towards danger after hearing screams from shoppers his first day on the job. He tried to help others during the ordeal but was stabbed to death alongside five others. Today he was honoured at a mosque here in Marston Park. The Prime Minister and Premier among those to pay their respects. His older brother Madassar says his actions that day were selfless. He was a strong Family members who had flown in from Pakistan have now had the opportunity to say their final goodbye. In Marsden Park, Max White, Nine News. In finance news, the share market down 100 points. The dollar buys 65.35 US cents. first game since round three after suffering a low-grade hamstring injury. Will Day will also return from injury for Sunday's clash against Sydney. Geelong coach Chris Scott says Cam Guthrie's immediate AFL call-up from injury was a pre-planned and backed by a flawless pre-season and a thorough training block. Tomorrow's clash against Carlton will be Cats defender Sam De Koning's 50th game. Coach Chris Scott says
series, it feels like De Koning has been playing a lot longer. I really think of Sam being a mainstay of our, our team. It sort of took me by surprise as well. When someone said he had a milestone, I was hedging more towards 100 than 50 because I don't follow those things all that closely. But he's a very young player. There's a lot of footy in front of him, but it's already sort of crucial to us. Round seven continues tonight with Port Adelaide hosting St Kilda. It's five past six. That's the latest in news and sport. Drew with the latest sport headlines. Carlton coach Michael Voss has declared star duo Jacob Wiedering and Zach Williams as certain starters for tomorrow's clash with top of the table Geelong. Harley Reid's Western Derby heroics have become all the more incredible after it was revealed he produced the match winning display while his body was flagging. The number one pick from last year's draft set tongues wagging with three goals, 19 possessions and seven clearances in West Coast's shock 37 point win over the Dockers. He will take a well-deserved rest, though, for Sunday's match with the Gold Coast Suns. In NRL, South Sydney's Tane Milne has copped a two-game ban for his shot on Cameron Munster during last night's 34-point loss to Melbourne Storm. And in cricket, Cameron Green has produced his best batting and bowling figures of the IPL season, helping the struggling Royal Challengers to down the high-flying Sunrisers. And you're up to date with the latest in sport. The Lions Club of Daniloquin Monthly Market is held the fourth Saturday of every month. Find out how you can help or join the club by speaking to a Lions Club member today. There's plenty of tradies that do a good job in this town. But if you want to be a tradie that everyone knows they can trust, call 5881-1811 and be a trusty tradie. Hey, you better get to Rob's retirement sale at Denny Better Home Living. It's your last chance. After 29 years, Rob's got heaps of better bargains and it all ends Saturday. Rob's retiring, so get him before he's gone. Better get to Denny Better Home Living now. George Street, Daniloquin. 102.5 Edge FM, your official emergency broadcaster. Five years, Aussies have been powering their passion with Battery World. So if you're hitting the open road, on your next outdoor adventure, or simply taking pride in a job well done, there's only one place to go, and that's Battery World. HFM weather. Into Sport Echuca, your local sports store for everything netball, football, fitness equipment and sports clothing. Northern Victoria and the Southern Riverina down to a low of two degrees tonight. Sunny tomorrow, patches of morning frost and possible fog with light winds. Looking ahead to Sunday, a partly cloudy day with light winds, 25. Partly cloudy on Monday, 24 expected. And Tuesday, a sunny day with a top of 19. Daniloquin for your Saturday, heading for a top of 21. At Chukamoama, 20. And Cobram, 23 degrees. The Big Mac is the original mouthful, a one-of-a-kind flavour that now comes in three sizes. It's currently 15 degrees.